Natasha and I'm so excited to be here at the Faith Awards today where I get to interview so many nominees and today's nominee is Ehud. He's mentioned in Hebrews 11 for being one of the biggest faith giants. So let's get into it. Hello, Ehud. How are you doing today? Hi, good. I'm, I'm good, thanks. And yourself? I'm great, thank you. Um, I saw that early on that you were actually left-handed. Oh Yeah, I've been left-handed since birth. Wow, that's very interesting. So tell me, congratulations on your nomination. How are you feeling about it? You know, I was a bit surprised to see my name on that list, you know. But yeah, I'm grateful because there's so many other big faith giants and I, I guess I was just surprised to see my name on that list, yeah. Oh, awesome. And how are you feeling about the ceremony? Are you excited to see everyone? Like, how, what are you feeling? Uh, you know, I'm more, more uh, nervous than excited. I'm not really one for crowds and more of a one-on-one -on -one type of person, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping on the night they just cut to the chase because these ceremonies tend to take long. And yeah, I just hope I win on the night. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're so busy with your deliveries and all that stuff. So thank you so much for the interview. And thank you guys for joining us and good luck for your deliveries. Uh, but I think it's time for us to go and worship. Cool, let's go. I close my eyes and colors fly. There's no hiding from your grace. I can't deny your heart for mine And it's unrelenting chase I was on the edge of deception Caught up in my own hesitation Until your love took over
everyone, it is so great to see you and I am so excited to be here. My name is Natasha and I have the amazing opportunity to be presenting and talking to some of our nominees for the Faith Awards tonight. I hope you guys are excited as well. And look, we have two amazing nominees right here with us. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Oh, I'm great yourself. Hey, I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. That's awesome. So how are you feeling about your uh, awards tonight, your nominations? Uh, I think I'm, I'm actually pretty confident, eh? Yeah. You know what? I mean, I'm used to being number one, but I really don't mind who wins tonight. To yeah, I always think that whoever has the upper hand usually comes out on top. Okay, very interesting. Our nominees seem very confident tonight. All right, so I'm going to do this a little bit of a fun activity with you guys, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, so we have amazing guest artists who made us our amazing theme song. And it's actually based off a Bible verse that comes from Hebrews 11, verse 6. And it says, Without faith, no one can please God. Whoever comes to him must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who sincerely try to find him. Yeah cool hey and you know like rewards and like get you're getting awarded for something like can you see that link yeah. like how cool okay, okay. all right so i'm gonna we're gonna teach you guys a song later on okay. but for now i'm gonna just try to teach you the phrasing for the song so when it comes to the time you guys can actually sing it mm. the right way yeah. okay you guys up for the challenge yeah let's go i'm here, I'm here for it, of course <laughs> okay cool so it starts without faith no one can please god without, without faith, faith no one, one can please god, god. Whoever comes to God must believe. Whoever comes to God must believe. That he is real and that he rewards. That he is real and that he rewards. Those who sincerely try to find him. Those who sincerely try to find him. Okay, that was pretty decent. So hopefully by the time we actually get to learn the song, you guys will know it like off the heart, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, good luck with your nominations tonight, and I'll see you guys later. Well, thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. See you later. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so those are two of our nominees. How cool. I'm so excited, and hopefully we have some new nominees. Oh, I just see one coming here right here. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good in yourself. That's good. And uh, tell me, how are you feeling about your nomination tonight? Oh, actually, I feel confident because my family is okay. Everything is falling to place, so, yeah. Oh. Good. Awesome, that is so amazing to hear. So I did a fun activity with some other, some other of our nominees. Are you ready to do one as well? Oh yeah, sure, cool. Okay, so basically we just have a brand new theme song that's based on a Bible verse. Oh, and okay. we're going to teach you the song later on. But for now, I'm going to teach you the phrasing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to say the phrasing. You're gonna, I'm going to bring the mic to you and you're going to say it after me. Right. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Okay, cool. So it goes, without faith, no one can please God. Without faith, no one can please God. Whoever comes to God must believe. Whoever comes to God must believe. That he is real and that he rewards. That he is real and that he rewards. Those who sincerely try to find him. Those who sincerely try to find him. Awesome. So you're really almost catching on to the melody over there. Yeah. All right. So we're going to teach it to you later on, but enjoy the awards and good luck for your nomination. All right. Thank you. Thank good you. Evening. Thank you, too. All right, guys. So those are some of our nominees, and we're going to be back later to... Um, to interview some more nominees but i hope that you can also catch on to our theme song and hopefully in the next interview you guys can sing along with us all right bye for now guys hey guys so welcome as you all know we are building up to the faith awards and today i'm going to be talking to you guys about one of our nominees uh, none other than ehud now, Ehud was a very, very fascinating guy. In fact, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at his life and see how Ehud was able to show faith in the life that he lived and thus earn himself a nomination for a faith award. And hopefully what we will do through that by looking at his life is uh, find ways in which me and you, well, the both of us, could earn ourselves a nomination for a faith award as well. So Ehud had a very, very fascinating life, okay? He uh, had to deliver a tribute. So he went around, he was from Israel, he went around and collected a tribute that they had to give to this really, really terrible king known as 
Eglon. Eglon was essentially a bully, okay? He bullied, bullied Israel and uh, uh, he demanded that they give him tribute. I assume it was like money. I don't know. He probably went around collecting money or gifts or whatever it was. And he had to uh, deliver these gifts to King Eglon. But it's safe to say that Ehud had a bit of a trick up his sleeve. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about in a moment. And uh, through that, through showing faith, um, he was able to earn himself a nomination and quite literally make a difference that is documented in the Bible. So I'm going to read from the Bible. The book of Judges actually captures this moment in our nominee's life. And I want to tell you guys about it. It comes from the book of Judges chapter 3. Now you can read the entire chapter and get the full story. But I'm actually going to read from verses 21 and 22. And this is what they say. It says, Ehud reached with his left hand, pulled out the dagger strapped to his right thigh and plunged it into the king's belly. The dagger went so deep in, in to the king's belly that the handle disappeared beneath the king's fat. Let's just take a moment to imagine that. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it goes on to say, so Ehud did not pull out the dagger and the king's bowels emptied. Ugh, that's absolutely disgusting. But our nominee today, literally, um, he decided to meet up with the king. And when the king had his bodyguards around, he just asked him, he said, hey, can I just have a moment with the king? I actually have a message for him. And he did have a message for him, but that message was a knife to the belly. And uh, the belly of the king, which was so big, uh, absolutely actually swallowed the knife. Can you imagine that for a moment? But this is what I want you to consider about today's nominee is he, he was actually brave. He was brave. He, he could have run away from the situation. I, I think many people, when faced with a bully in life, often just choose to run away. They often choose to just be quiet. But Ehud showed faith in God by being brave. He actually did believe that God would help him in his mission. I wonder if you and I, in times where we feel bullied, either by circumstances, when life is tough, or maybe you're bullied by other people, do you ever have faith to stand up for yourself and to stand up for other people? I, I believe that God doesn't want people to be hard-pressed, to be taken advantage of, and He actually wants us to stand up for other people and to be brave as Ehud, Ehud did. So I want to remind you guys, Ehud was able to earn himself a Faith Award nomination uh, and he earned it by showing faith, uh, by being brave. And you and I can do the exact same thing. We would show our faith through being brave. I hope you guys are encouraged by that. And uh, I wonder if Ehud has just earned a vote from you. If you think Ehud should win this Faith Award, let us know. Welcome to the Best of Seven, a Bible quiz as part of our Faith Awards celebrations. We want to say welcome. Thank you so much to Ehud. Thank you for joining us. Let's give him a warm welcome. Thank you, Gay. Thank you. Thank you. And then we also have King Jehoshaphat. Wow, yeah, that is an amazing crown there. Welcome, welcome. And uh, it's really congratulations on your nominations. And today we're going to be looking at a Bible quiz. You guys have been nominated as Heroes of Faith. And we're going to be talking about some other Heroes of Faith and seeing how much you know about the other contestants for the Faith Awards. All right. So our first question, and for each question, the first person to raise their hand gets to answer. And if you get it right, you get one point. If you get it wrong, the other person has an opportunity to give it a go and we're going to see who gets the best of seven so gentlemen are you ready yes yes all right our first question was Caiaphas a prophet or a priest tell us King Jay uh, I'm gonna say prophet all mm. right unfortunately he was in fact a priest he was the high priest who condemned Jesus at his trial. Quite a tricky question. Not common knowledge for a lot of people. Um, let's have a look at number two. Did Peter accept or reject Jesus? All right, we're going to go with King Jay first. Uh, both. 
Both. All right. Elaborate on your answer. He accepted Jesus and his teachings, but then he also rejected Jesus three times in one night. That's right. But in the end, he returned to Jesus and he was restored. Peter, one of our amazing heroes of faith. All right. Question number three. Do you know the profession of David? Okay. Tell us. David was a shepherd and then he was a king. That's correct. He started off as a shepherd. He ended up as a king. Along the way, he was also a few other things. For a bonus point, Ehud, uh, do you know any of David's other professions? Hmm. David was a warrior. He was actually the captain of King Saul's army. Very good. Yes, and he was a professional musician. Wow. That's right. King David, quite a diverse professional background, a very multi-talented person who has also been nominated for Faith Awards. All right. Question number four. This is somebody who is fairly well known. Was Jeremiah a king or a prophet? There we go. Tell us, King J. A prophet. A prophet. That's right. He's also known as the weeping prophet. Unfortunately, he witnessed and warned about the exile when the Israelites were taken off into captivity. And he warned them to turn back to God over and over. And uh, he's known as the weeping prophet. He also wrote the book of Lamentations, which is quite a sad book, quite a sad chapter in the stories in the Old Testament. All right, let's move on to miracles. Question number five. We're considering different kinds of miracles. There are miracles of provision, miracles of healing. What kind of miracle did Bartimaeus receive? Tell us. A miracle of healing? That's right. What kind of healing? Uh, I can't remember the exact story now, but I know it's healing. Okay, you, you can get your one point for healing. Um, and let's see whether Ehud knows the answer to this one. <laughs> He, he was in fact blind. Yeah. He's called blind Bartimaeus and he received his his sight. Jesus healed healed him and he was able to see. There's like a 50% chance of his sight. He <laughs> 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 tested. For oh. question number six, what is Esther famous for? Okay, tell us, Ehud. Was she a disciple? Unfortunately not. She was not one of the disciples. Uh, do, you, do you want to give that a go, King Jay? Uh, yes, she was, in fact, a woman in the Old Testament that married a king, and she became a queen. That's right. She was one of the most beautiful girls. She won a beauty pageant and she became the wife of the king and she rescued the Jews from being exterminated. So she's quite a famous lady. All right. I think it was a little bit after your time, Ehud. Maybe that's why you're not quite up to speed on that one. And our final question, was this person in the Old Testament or the New Testament? And the person we are considering is Joseph. Oh, wow, that was pretty close. Ehud, I think you got in there first. Joseph was in the Old Testament. Yes, and tell us more about his story. Uh, Joseph had a coat of many colors. That's right. And he was the one that actually went to Egypt uh, and he was betrayed, sold by his brothers, landed up in Egypt and rescued Egypt and rescued them from famine. Very good. For a bonus point, you also had your hand up there, King Jay. Yes, uh, Joseph is also in the New Testament as... He was meant to marry Mary, the mother of Jesus. That's right. So what would that make him then to Jesus? Uh, his stepfather. Stepfather. We'll go with that. All right. So we've got a Joseph in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for playing. We do have a winner. We want to say congratulations. Well done. Thank you. And uh, we wish you all the best for the Faith Awards. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing the outcomes from that. And then Ehud, I think you need to keep that knife in a safe place. It might get confiscated. There we go. Thank you so much, guys. And for the kids, please continue watching. And let's have a look at some questions to see what else we've been talking about today.